for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome yes. to my channel. So Gemini, in the recent past, we got the Six of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Six of Wands is about recognition, success, being victorious. Um, the Six of Wands... If you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. So it's about some type of celebrations or celebrating. You could be a part of a graduation party, commencement celebration, or you could be receiving a reward for good, good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really, really good about yourself. If you take a look at this picture, I just have to point that out to you. The picture of the Six of Wands, the card that's be above the word pass you see how this lady she's standing on a podium she's waving her wand in the air and she's got all these people below her and they're waving their wand just as she is so they're mirroring her um, she's experiencing recognition victory success now when it comes to love and relationships and you get the six of wands very good. Six of Wands, it, su it suggests that you may have needed someone to boost your ego in the recent past while the other person was, they were perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. It's called Fire of Balance. The two of you fed off of each other energetically. It's that twin flame chemistry. So with the Six of Wands here, you probably experienced a lot of sexual energy. And there was a lot of passion and long nights spent in bed when you get the Six of Wands. So you you were dealing with someone who you had a lot of magnetism and chemistry with in the recent past. Now, it's with the Eight of Pentacles. It's showing necessary efforts. You probably had a lot on your plate that you needed to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is important. But if you let it work for its own sake, it would have been counterproductive. So you needed to be clear on what you were trying to accomplish and strive for balance. We know that no one can or should work all the time. But this Eight of Pentacles, it's indicating a very hard work period. This man, he's outside. He probably has. He probably was out since the morning. Now it's turning into nighttime and he's still working. He has no intentions of stopping. And on top of that, the rain drops. It's raining. They're huge. So it's dedication, determination, very hard work, period. Now, this doesn't have to be a negative thing, or it wasn't a negati negative thing, but you had to be prepared for it. So for these two cars being paired together, it's basically saying that uh, you were real willing to work really hard in some type of connection that you had with someone. You worked really hard just to keep it going, keep it together. You were motivated. You were inspired. You had a lot of passion about this person, about the relationship. And like I said, you too had this type of twin flame energy. You could have been a twin flame. The two of you mirrored each other. And there was a lot of passion. A lot of passion because... With the Eight of Pentacles, you get passion. and the Six of Wands, you get passion. So you were in some type of steamy connection. A lot of you, Geminis, were in some type of heated connection. Yeah, this person, you needed your ego stroked, and they stroked it just like you wanted them to. Anyway, sounds exciting. So... Let's see what's coming up for September for the present time. Seven of Pentacles and Five of Swords. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is a card about returns on investments. It, it can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investment of time, effort, that you, time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. And this is positive. You'll be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along really well, and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. You just might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, situations that you're already involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. 
Now that's the seven of pentacles. And it's paired with the five of swords. Five of swords. You see how this man, he's running around with two swords in his hand. He's got three swords on the ground right next to him. Well, they're there for a reason because he may need to pick them up and use them. He might need extra. So, this five of swords is about having mixed feelings. Could be about life. Could be maybe about a few people in particular. But don't ignore these feelings. But don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. Because this could ruin the very thing that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends, with your lovers. So it's about thinking several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. So it's all about picking your battles. So coming up in September, Gemini. Yep, the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. So... I'm picking up that a lot of you are still dealing with this person from the recent past that you that you had such great chemistry with. Because when you hear the word recent past in the tarot, that's a week ago, a month ago, three months ago, or more. Could be six months ago or more. So a lot of you are still dealing with this person that you had great chemistry with and you put a lot of work and effort into the connection. And you're still doing it. You're still trying to keep this you're still really trying to make this relationship work because you see how she's watering this plant it was probably just a teeny tiny little thing when she first got it now it's huge it's it's grown she gets up in the morning and before she goes to bed at night she waters it and takes care of it and nurtures it so you, you're putting in the, i'm picking up you're putting in a lot of effort and energy into this connection same person from the recent past. You, st I'm picking up that a lot of you, G Gemini's, you're doing a lot of work. You might be the one that's doing more for the connection than your person. That's what I'm trying to say. Because I'm seeing a lot of work here. You're the one who's putting in all the effort and energy into this connection. Which is not always a good thing. You could start to feel like this man running around with two swords in his hand. You're starting to have mixed feelings about this connection. Even though the chemistry and the magnetism is, is good. But it seems like you're doing, you're the one who drew, who's doing all the work, Gemini. Because we've got two, two work cards here. Heavy work periods. Working, putting in a lot of work. Two cards. It's Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So, Gemini, you're doing all the work. Now you're starting to have mixed feelings coming up in September. So, there could be some conflict coming up. Five of Swords is about conflict. You're probably ready to argue and fight or put your foot down. Yeah, because this Five of Swords, this man with the two swords in his hand, he's actually mad and upset. So you're mad because you, you're doing all the work in the relationship. Could be emotionally you're caring, you're doing all the work, or it could be financially you're doing all the work. Because Pentacles, when you hear that in the tarot, that's money, cash, coins. But since this is a love reading, it could be that you're doing all the work just to keep the relationship together. So now you're upset. So let's find out what the challenge is. We got the Nine of Swords and the Hermit card. Now the Nine of Swords is about guarding yourself against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a look at that. Take a look at whether or not any of it's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If, it's, if this is the case, take a look at it. See whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. 
And I say this because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more bigger or just different than it is. So you might want to try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty really is. Now it's with the Hermit card, which can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. You could start to feel like you're in the frame of mind that you want to be alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house, so that you can clear your head. So, just know the Hermit card. It can be a card also about trying to do really hard the right thing. But just make sure the, just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally, and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So, the challenge that we have for you, Gemini, Nine of Swords, and the Hermit. So, like I said, you're kind of pissed because you realize you finally woke up you realize that you're the one doing all the work in the relationship you're doing well you're doing most of it and it probably seems unfair you're the one that's trying to hold it together or you're the one that's just putting in all the effort and energy so that you two can reap the rewards of this connection or just to keep it together. So the challenge is that you face with anxiety, nightmares, anxiety, grief, some sadness. You might start to feel anxious and like something's troubling you with the relationship. That's what the Nine of Swords is about. So you might start to spend time alone just to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage. That's what the Hermit card does. Yeah, so that's your challenge. Now let's see what the outcome is. We got Justice and King of Pentacles. The Justice card, it deals with karma. And the law of cause and effect. We all know what karma is. Whatever you put out to the universe or to people, it comes back to you three or ten times as big. Some people say three, some people say ten just know sometimes you could be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. This justice card, it brings clarity and truth. It makes you feel justified. It makes you feel like you have the right to do so. Now it's with the King of Pentacles. It's a King of Pentacles is about success. Success and money matters. Just know it's not a time to be a maverick, though. It's a time to follow the established way of doing things. So when this card stands for actual man or person in your life, this, this man will be very masculine. Could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. So if it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can believe and trust in absolutely. Because the king of... Pinnacles is a very stable type. They're good fathers. They're secure and committed. Or they offer security and commitment. They could be career focused. So, Gemini, we see that you have some struggles with, you, you're going to have some struggles with this person because you feel like you're carrying the load in this connection. Um, you two have a lot of passion for each other, but you start to have some anxiety. You spend some time alone just to get your thoughts together. And then your person, it looks like he, he or she wants to secure this connection with you or to make it more stable because that's what this King of Pentacles is about, stability. So you person could see that you're struggling with certain situations in the relationship. So they try to, the person will try to make it more stable. Um, they could offer commitment or some type of security. And then you feel justified. You feel like it's about time. You, you wake up and smell the roses. You don't want to be carrying the relationship alone. So your person, it looks like they wake up and they see that you're, you need some help. 
<laughs> and they don't want you to be the only one doing all the work in the relationship. So, yeah, so you got justice. You're justified. You're satisfied. Um, the truth, you've got truth and you've got some clarity. Your person, it looks like, like I said, they're ready to stabilize it and to put in the, the effort that they should have been doing in the beginning. So, it's a good thing. I, I like the outcome. You do, you will start to feel justified and, and more satisfied. And you feel that uh, the truth has come to light. So your per it looks like your person will understand where you're coming from. And that's the outcome. So Gemini, 